Hello, and welcome to Cox Reels Tech Tips. We're standing out here on one of Cox Reels assembly lines to show you how to add or remove tension, what we call pre-wraps, from your hose reel. Before we get started, let's talk a little bit about safety. Anytime you're dealing with sheet metal parts of any kind, you should wear some gloves. And number two, for this operation, your reel should be bolted down. We're gonna be messing with the spring tension and pulling the hose out, and you don't want it to get loose on you. Now, what we're gonna be doing is essentially increasing the force that is pulling the hose back or decreasing the force that's pulling the hose back. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do it on this P series or an SH series where the side is open, which is very easy to do. And then I'm gonna show you how to do it on a T series, which is a real side that has brackets on the side which prevent this method. Now, what we're gonna do is pull out about six feet and then latch the reel in place. Now, to increase tension or to add pre-wraps, what we're gonna do is pull some of the hose back, loop it around the drum, so that we've actually shortened the amount of hose coming out here. And what that's gonna do is increase the amount of force that the spring pulls back on the hose. Now, if we want to remove tension, we remove pre-wraps, which is done exactly the opposite. That took us back to where we started, and then we're gonna remove one, making the hose we've pulled out longer, and that's gonna decrease the tension. Now, there's something I wanna show you, something you have to look out for when adding pre-wraps. So let me go ahead and add them back in here, and then we can talk about that. So I'm, I'm adding pre-wraps, I'm putting more wraps on here, which is increasing the spring force. Now, what we're gonna be looking for is that the hose doesn't run out before the spring does. What this means is if you keep adding pre-wraps, eventually you're gonna run out of spring can before you run out of hose. And that's a bad scenario to be in. Let me demonstrate. After you've added your pre-wraps and you think you've got everything in the right tension, what you wanna do is check and make sure what is the bottom. Is it the hose or is it the spring? Here's how we do it. We pull all the hose out. Now, in this scenario, everything is fine. The thing that is stopping us is the hose. However, if I add one more pre-wrap, and then I go to find the bottom, what'll happen is I've run out of spring. You see, there's still hose left on the drum. It's not actually the hose that's at the end, it's the spring that's at the end. Now this is a very bad scenario to be in because as the operator continues to use the reel, they're gonna hit the bottom of the spring over and over again, eventually causing you problems with retraction. So if you run into this scenario, you're gonna have to remove one of the pre-wraps until you get back to where the hose is what's the end and there's still more spring to go. Now this is how you add pre-wraps on a P-series or an SH-series reel where it's open. However, on a T-series reel, such as this, you're not gonna be able to add the loops because it's gonna hit this bracket. And so we're gonna use a slightly more cumbersome method, but we're gonna do the same thing. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pull out some hose, latch the reel, and then remove our ball stop. With our ball stop off, we're free to either add pre-wraps or conversely remove pre-wraps, just like we did with the loop, except by doing it like this. Once you get it to where you want it to be, you simply reinstall the ball stop. Now the same rules apply on a T-Series. After you've done this, you need to make sure you're not bottoming out the spring by removing all of the hose and figuring out what it is that is stopping 
your reel at the end. And that's how you add or remove tension from your spring rewind reel. Thank you for watching Cox Reels Tech Tips. Please join us again on our YouTube channel or on the website. And have a nice day.